two weeks of hollow notes. And I uh, haven't uh, wanted to take the CD out yet, but I'm going on a road trip just overnight. I'll take you with me. I'm at the barn. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. I meant to ride, but just there's no time to see what's up. Except, of course, my horse. Oh my god. Stop. Stop. Lisa. He's like alone. Do you want the apple? I'm sorry that I didn't get to ride you today. Apple. Yes. Yeah, tell him to fuck off. It's your apple. Hi, oh, baby. So, you know, I've been struggling with his feet lately, but, uh, Mr. Rob came and fixed them. Thank you. I have a good farrier. Hey Mesa, what you doing? You're a nosy. So this week is AEC's and my trainer qualified with his prelim horse. So he's over there. So there's no lessons at all. And um, it would be a good opportunity for me to take a weekend trip somewhere. Um, my weekend is Thursday, Friday. I work Saturday through Wednesday. So, um, and but I didn't really have anywhere to go. And I figured... Like, why not just cross an international border? So now I'm in the car, and it's more like six hours, because the barn is like 45 minutes away from my house. But i got to drive all the way through Chicago traffic, through Indiana, through Michigan, through Detroit, over the border, and I'll see you in Canada. I smelled it before I saw it. It's about noon now, I just stopped for breakfast, whatever. I got some Timbits to go. And here it is, Green Hawk. Green Hawk. This is cool, I saw it online and I was like, is it gonna be tiny? Cause it looks like a double wide trailer. But actually had quite a bit. So it's like about, it's two o'clock Eastern time, which means that it is one o'clock my time. Um, I think I'm gonna head out early. There isn't really much that I could do without like getting caught up a long time here driving. So um, yeah, that was my short, uh, less than 24 hours in Canada and I got it, I have like five-ish hours of driving ahead of me. Not sure if it was just recording that bridge or not. I was wearing it on my head because this is my helmet cam, but I took the, um, the case off of it and just put it on my head. Let's see what's going on here. But, uh, and uh, they don't stamp it at the border crossing. I was hoping that they would, but, um, they don't, unless we open it to some random page and stamp it. I am finally home. A five hour drive took me a little over eight hours due to Labor Day traffic, which I didn't uh, plan for. But here's my bag of stuff. And tomorrow, here's a sneak peek. Tomorrow, I will, uh, after work, I will do um, the rest of it. Man, I just can't get away from the harsh, bad sunlight wherever I go. Anyway, so it's Monday now. I'm really sorry. I started this vlog on a Thursday, um, but then obviously I came home right on Friday night late and I had to go to work Saturday and Sunday. Um, I'm also dealing with some problems with my camera. So like pretty much everything's been filmed on my phone, which is really not the best uh, phone. It's nothing special. It's not like an iPhone or anything. It's just a two-year-old LG Volt, so I think I'm gonna buy a new one soon. Anyway, I am on my way to the barn. I want to use the stuff I bought at Greenhawk, so I want to show it to you while it's all new and shiny in the bag with the price tags. Um, I am parked at the little travel station here, the Oasis thingy. 
that goes above the interstate. Anyway, so here's the stuff I have. Okay, let's start with this saddle pad, which is just a, paint, a plain basic white saddle pad with navy trim, and it's Supra brand. It was $26.99 Canadian, which is a really good deal, I think, for me. That's like $23 or something dollars. And I've just wanted a white pad for a while. And when I saw the one with navy trim, navy and black are kind of like my colors. Not that we are going cross country anytime soon, but um, I just get stuff in navy and black. I don't know why. I think it looks good on my horse. So next up is just this ball. It's like a jolly ball, but it was a little cheaper. It's a little smaller. We'll see if my horse likes to play with it. It's just a toy that you hang up, like a jolly ball. And that was, I think that was $7.99. And then I just bought some more saddle soap. I'm always buying new like leather cleaning products and leather conditioning products just to try them out. So that was that. And then we have a jelly scrubber thing with massage because I don't know, it was on sale. And I like, I think that Titan will like this. And then I just got some plain old Martin horse treats, $8.99. We don't have these. These are Canadian brand, but I'm running low on treats, so I thought I'd just try them. They are maple flavor, as my horse likes stuff like that, sort of like sweet. Oh, there goes some fly spray on the ground. Anyway, then we have some Knickers treats. It says Green Line for Green Hawk. And then we have some fly spray. It's just fly spray. And then here's the big uh, purchase. I just wanted some denim breeches for a while, and so I just saw these Elation denim ones, and they just look like jeans, but they're, they're breeches, and they have like the higher back, and so they've got a denim knee patch, and then sock bottoms, and then they're just a Euro seat, but they also have um, jean pockets and they just have the Alation logo. Alation is like, if I understand it correctly, um, Greenhawk's home brand. So, and then, yeah, Alation denim. And they were $89.99. And so I just went ahead and got them. They are just a tiny bit big for me in the waist, but they fit everywhere else. And I find that that happens usually if, if it fits me in the thigh, then it's going to be big in the waist. And if it fits in the waist, it's going to be small in the thigh, except for the Ovation brand. So almost all my breeches are that brand, but we just, I'll try these. Um, the shop lady, they didn't see any of my size. They had a real small selection of breeches and they didn't have everything in every size. And she said she tried these jeans on, or these jean breeches on, and they were, um, they ran small. She took a size up and they happen to have a size up of mine one of the like five breeches they had in any sizes and tried them on and they fit. I will need to wear a belt with them though I think. I need to get a smaller belt. But those are the things I purchased uh, for my horse at least. Then I went to the dollar store and I got a bunch of candy that is really expensive in the states. I feel like every English-speaking country I've ever been to other than the United States you can get Bounty, you can get Arrow, you can get Smarties, and you can get wine gums and you can get Mars bars, but in the States you have to go to like specialty stores to get them or you have to go to like the international food section of the grocery stores and they're really expensive. Like this was $2, this thing, this is $2 Canadian. These were like $3, I think. No, they were $2 Canadian, which is like $1.50. That would be like um, five something for me US. So I just bought a bunch of them because... So that's the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will try and get that 25 Facts About Titan video up really soon. As soon as I get some better, um, get my camera back with the, the charging cord. And I also figure out some lighting because um, I really don't have windows where I can film. So it might just be more vlogs. It might be car vlogs. It might be the car vlog show. I'm not sure.